Hello. How are you? So today I want to react to, I'm sorry, the police just drove in front of my house. I'm going to watch what they're doing. Okay, they drove by. Whew. Close call. Um, the paras, which according to Wikipedia, that would be the parachute regime, which is pretty badass. I mean, I guess that's like paratroopers. That's pretty cool. Um, I've heard that the British Army is pretty intense. So this is the Airborne Infantry Regiment of the British Army. Okay, it's recruits bayonet exercises. They still do bayonet exercises, I guess. Interested to see. Are designed to kill you. This is your uh, instantly at 100%. Okay. This is what you've chosen to do. You want to close and kill the enemy or bayonet him in the face. He wants to kill and behead. Holy crap. Who's got it about them to close up and kill the enemy? Who's got the bollocks, Joel? Who's got the minerals to get amongst this? Who wants to be a character? Who's rock? got the minerals? What makes the grass grow? Blood, blood, blood! Oh my gosh. That's a disturbing thought. What makes the grass grow? Blood. <laughs> Joe, this is what we're all about. Closing and killing with enemy. This is what oh, This is more, this seems more intense to me than like, even in American basic training, which, you know, whether it's for the army or the Marines or whatever, you know, it's pretty intense. This seems like even on another level. If you haven't got 100% aggression and you don't want to go in and do that job, then you'll get killed. My gosh, dude, they really you got have to train these dudes to be savage. On the other end of that, there's another person with 100% aggression. So your aggression right. has got to outmatch his aggression and you've got right. to be able to take it to him. That makes sense. Like you have to be a savage because the other, the opponents are, they're coming for you. You can't like cower or... Super weird. You or you're gonna kill him. The Super thought of right. using a bayonet in today, in today's age. So the more aggression you've got, that's gonna age you. They even have fake blood in there. In his life, you need to you need to show it. You need to have that about him. And if he's as aggressive as you, then then you've got a fight in your hand. I'm 17, and I'm Holy the youngest bloke in the platoon. I do they have to look that angry? Did some work experience with the army, and I was uh, initially. <laughs> He kind of looked over. <laughs> uh, the way he looked over, it was almost like, do I still have to be making this face? Is he still watching me? I did some work experience with the army, and I was uh, initially wanted to go to the Marines. <laughs> she said, why don't you join Scary. the paras? They're, sort of the, uh, they're better. And I thought, who are the paras? I knew who paratroopers were. But um, so I looked, it, looked into it and uh, thought, yeah, it's definitely for me. It's the hardest training you can do. I want a bit of that. Wow. I am originally from Afghanistan. I grew up in a war zone. There were fightings, there were gunshots every day on the road going on. It's actually crazy to think about people from Afghanistan, like this guy who was born when the war began. You know, like they grew up with living in the Afghanistan war. That's interesting. It's just been so long since the beginning of that. Um, and that was basically my childhood, growing up to that days and seeing dead bodies and um, killings from a, from an early stage of that that age. The now he's in the British Army. Wow. Was that I met in Afghanistan? They kind of stood out to me because uh, they were more braver. And they were like going in first uh, wow. for anything. Damn. And that kind of attracts you. That yes, I, I want to be part of that regiment, and I want to be part of that pride wearing that maroon beret. If you cannot fucking stab a fucking standing steel dummy, how are you supposed to kill someone who wants to kill you? Do you understand? Yes, yes go, 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 And run! Fucking hell, Joe! You couldn't scare fucking girl guides! <laughs> Bit of fucking aggression! You're about to kill the enemy! They're very scary. I love how funny, like, a drill sergeant like this guy is. 
Like, like he he has, he insults you, or even worse, he's insulting the guy next to you, and you have to not laugh, or else you know you're next. <laughs> um, I wonder why this guy moved so slow, right here, right there. Why is he going so slow? It's kind of like it's bizarre. I mean, I don't know what I'm talking about, but you'd think he would have charged. Get aggression, you're a you won't be very scary, but if you don't mess around, you won't get, you won't get a slice. But you don't want to piss him off. I thought he said you won't get sliced. You won't get a slice. I was like, uh, okay. If they're cutting you, that might be. That's pretty intense. The, a slice. The paratroopers then naturally very scary blows when when prodded. Get fucking up here now! It's even scarier how they all have mud and all over their face. Start running now! Get on it! Get through it, Joe! Oh. Joe! These people want to send you back to your family in a fucking box! It's quite sort of mentally and emotionally battering. It's not in a way that people say watching this or what on Sue Street would think. You definitely have to live it and experience it to really understand because people, so many people, sort of serving and veterans talk to me beforehand. It's, like, it's a mental game. I thought, all right, just keep going. But it's so much more than that. And people, I don't think people will realise until they come here and experience it. Get in, Nathan! Get in! In front of you! Get in! You'll never be a paratrooper if you are not more aggressive than this. This is, like, scary. Like, they're actually... It's, it's like they're training to... to just be... Ravage, like you just can't hold back. It's also kind of. I wonder if he's just tired. Like they've probably been through so much this day. Power trooper. You no, know, he's you like. Are not more than this. It's also interesting how the the screaming and grunting is part of it. You know, like they're encouraged. That's part of the um, being aggressive. They keep saying. You have to be super aggressive, so they're like, yeah. I feel like there's not as much of that in the American military culture, like during um, basic training and stuff. Um, it's still very intense, but I, I feel like they're not saying, oh, you need to be screaming, like while you're stabbing this guy. That's pretty, whoa. Ah! Joe. This is where the metal meets the fucking meat. Both of you fucking need to take a hard fucking look at yourselves. Is this the profession that you want, Joe? Yes, yes go, bro. Bro. Well, we'll see you again. Let's go back to the start. You're both going again. Get away! Get down to that gate! No! <laughs> it's so funny how, like, mean they have to be just to build their thick skin. You know, it makes sense. But he's just like, all right, yeah, you're both going again. And then the second they start walking away, get away! <laughs> what the heck? Back to the start, you're both going again. Get away! Get down to that gate! No! Oh. Go, Bo! Yeah, he's tired. Can't run. Can't run. Cheers, mate. Yeah, use this as a rest of period, okay? Done the shit before. Let's go, keep walking, mate. Describe that to me. <laughs> Fucking horrid. Disappointing. Fucking. Trying to fucking run. Fucking can't. Damn. Taking it hard on himself. It's got to be hard on you mentally, huh? I mean, I know he's, he literally just said it's more than just a mental thing. But damn, the mental aspect looks tough. Wow. That was... Uh, intense. <laughs> Whew, all right. I'm, I'm definitely going to watch more of these videos because, I don't know, it was, it was interesting, entertaining, and insightful. Yeah. So, anyway...
thanks to ITV. Let me go check them out, link down below for that video. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow.